My name is uh, Reginald Sandifer. I'm 29 years of age, and I was born with sickle cell anemia. Um, I want to tell you guys now that I am eight years cured of sickle cell. Not technically cured of the sickle cell, but from the complications that come along with the disease. Um, I suffered a major stroke. I ended up losing my hearing in my right ear permanently. But well, all those things led up to me being cured. As far as I can remember, I started experiencing symptoms in a young age, maybe like five, six or seven. And that was just me having pain in my legs, pain in my arms, not being able to you know, use those limbs when they were hurting. Up until 14 is probably when things got a little bit more tough and more serious. I remember uh, going to the hospital at ages five, six, and seven. It was like a one day in and one day out thing. I'd go in and I'd get fluids and I'd be back home in the next two days like nothing ever happened. And I think those things kind of led up to me having a real bad uh, situation once I turned 14 because I was not receiving the, prep, the proper help only because the information was not provided yet. After my diagnosis, I kind of feel like um, the whole world was against me. I kind of felt like uh, I didn't know who to turn to. I didn't know, you know who to ask questions. I didn't know who to talk to about this. I kind of felt like this was something that I had to personally deal with by myself. Even though my family was a great support, it was times where you know I'd be alone and it was like thought to be rambling through my head. And it was like at times like that, no one could understood what was going on. I think the biggest challenge I've had to overcome having sickle cell disease is trying to put the pieces of my life in order. There's a time when something comes in and it may knock you off balance and it may take time to you know get everything back in order and get everything going back exactly how you planned it to be. So like I said, the biggest challenge was the fact that sickle cell came into my life and knocked so many things out of order. And it really took a lot of time mentally to prepare myself to have things back in order.